Hey guys, welcome back for another weekly grind video. We are here today to talk about the JP side of Dokkan Battle. If you guys aren't familiar with these videos, these are the videos where I go over all of the events and the summons or the banners that are currently available on the JP side and we'll discuss a little bit about them to keep you updated so you know which ones you should uh, be grinding and what you need to grind for each one. Uh, now with that being said, if you guys are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow me, help show your support of the channel. Really appreciate the support. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this. So first things first, uh, we have the re-release of the super guy in the galaxy, whatever the heck it actually is. What is this, Geary Girl or Geary Geary? <laughs> um, this runs until 8.28. You have a full month to run this. There's a, there's a couple things here. First things first, um, if you want to do this, I actually did this grind for LR Gohan uh, before I even pulled him. Was uh, You grind out all of these Gohans. I grinded out about 30 of them, right? And you have to grind each of these levels, and you need to get all of these guys over here. You have to get Bojack, um, and I, I don't remember all their names right now. Uh, I know Zanya and Gokua and Bujin and Bido. There you go, I remembered all of them. Uh, you doken this guy into Super Saiyan Gohan, and you Z-Awaken him. He is going to be a um, SR, who Z-Awakens to an SSR. There's no TUR variant of this guy as of yet. I don't know if we're ever going to get that or not, but he is here. Maybe if Bojack ever gets a new like the new card or new event, something like that, he will get it. Uh, but yeah, so he is available from that. That will feed into any Super Saiyan Gohan kid or teen, whatever the heck his actual thing is. Um, so you go ahead and do that. You can at least get him to Super Attack 10. He's not viable. Back in the day, like when the game first came out, he was very viable. So if you guys are brand new, maybe that'll help you out on some free-to-play events because he's a free-to-play character. Uh, but outside of that, not really worth it. But he can do increase the Super Saiyan Gohan. Um, you're also going to need Bojack medals for your LR Bojack. You're going to need him to get... Well, you need to need it to get his uh, Bojack form uh, to his full power Bojack form. Uh, so you're going to need to go ahead and grind them out. Also, taking consideration, you're going to need the uh, the four of his allies. You're going to need a few of them for each one to get uh, TUR Bojack to the LR Bojack. I think it's LR Team Bojack, whatever the heck that is. Anyway, you're going to need all of them in order to with. So keep that in mind, too, while this event is out. Uh, just in case you have pulled him or you plan, on, if you may pull him in the future, it always helps out to make sure that you have medals set for the just-in-case scenario. Um, we have the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. You need the Gohan medals in order to get him. Doken Awakened, he is a pretty damn decent support unit, uh, so make sure you uh, get those to if you if you ever pull him. He is not a Doken Fest exclusive, so um, yeah, get those. You're going to need Bojack Metals to Doken Awaken the Agility Bojack um, to his next form, to his TUR form. You're also going to need all of the medals to Doken Awaken the SR Summonable Bojack. Um, this guy, first off, will also feed into the LR Bojack before you Doken Awaken him from this SSR form, uh, but this guy is summonable. Get him to Super Attack 10. Um, Doken Awaken him. Uh, get all four Dupads unlocked. I would actually recommend doing that. After you Doken Awaken him, you have to Doken Awaken. Get him Doken Awaken him to Super Attack 10. Doken Awaken four more. Get all four Dupads unlocked. Uh, once you get him up to here, you could Doken Awaken him again, getting more of the Bojack medals, and then he will be a. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't want to say a beast. He is a good subunit for a mono extreme strength team if you are lacking units because the the extreme strength team is lacking like on, on so many parts of units that he's actually not that bad he is supreme damage with a 90 percent attack buff so if you get all four dupes unlocked and you like running a janemba team uh he will be pretty good plus remember he's also movie boss so he'll also run on that team i don't know if i forgot off the top of my head if there's any other but uh get the bojack medals for him you also have the gokua medals you want to go get gokua medals for gokua to doken awake into his full power form uh, you have Zanya, so that she will Doken Awaken. So look at the Zanya medals. I believe she is HP recovery, so that's pretty awesome. Zanya medals are level 3. Gokua medals are stage 4. Beedo medals are stage 5. Um, Bujin medals are stage 6. And uh, Bojack medals are stage 7. Bujin medals are the biggest pain in the butt because you have to do three separate stops. Um, so honestly, for some of these guys, you may want to, like, the the thing is, you can go and take the, the this guy over here, the Bojack, and you can Doken Wake him to full power to feed into the Agility one and the, the Intelligence LR Bojack, but honestly, doing that is such a waste of time because of the amount of grinding you have to do, uh, but you can do it if you really want to. I'm not doing that grind anymore. I did it for LR Gohan, and let me tell you, that grind burnt me the hell out. Uh, but Gohan is available on Stage 9. All of them drop on Stage 8. I would not recommend grinding them because it's random generated. Uh, but stage 9 is going to be the Gohan and the Gohan medals, and then obviously stage 10 is just some stuff. 
Um, outside of that event, there's nothing really left there, so that was a really little bit of a longer event to go over, just because there's so much, but I want to make sure I touched upon that. We do have the Balma event here, which just means you go in there, a whole bunch of support items, you get some Icaruses, some Sensu Beans, some... Um, Yemas, like pretty much any really good support item is going to be here. If you guys are looking for those, go ahead and run that event. Um, that one's going to run until 8.16, so you have, what, about a week? Uh, yeah, exactly one week from the time I'm recording this. Less than a week by the time I post this. So you're going to, it runs on 8.16, uh, and that's when the World Tournament is going to start. When that event goes down, the World Tournament should be starting very shortly. You have the Raditz event that's available. Get uh, Raditz over here, get Super Attack 10, all four Dupes unlocked, then Doken Awaken him. Really nothing else really special to say about him other than... Um, he is an AoE when you Doken Awaken him. So if you guys need AoEs, uh, which means an attack all, which means attacks every World Tournament card pretty much, go ahead and do that. He will come in even more handy if you have a Kid Boo lead, because then you have that 120 leader there, um, or I guess a pure Saiyan lead. Uh, that way you can go to the World Tournament and you can decimate with him. That's very, very beneficial, so I highly recommend doing that if you don't have an AoE unit. Outside of that, maybe not so much. Um, super, But he might come in handy on Super Battle Road for you since he is an AoE. Uh, that runs until 8.21, so you have a lot of time for that one to be available. Next one is going to be the Great Ape event. Um, it looks like that one runs until 8.21. Uh, this is where you get the SR Nappa, the SR Vegeta, and the Rare Gohan. They all suck. Grab them if you want a Super Attack 10. You don't really need to. Princess Snake is here. Princess Snake is really good for Super Battle Road. So this is where you're going to go and grind her out, so grab her while you still can. Um, you need the Moon Nappa medals in order to Doken Awaken Great Ape Vegeta, the Great Ape Raditz, and the, the, the Nappa is here. He gets his Great Ape form as well. It has a very low chance to um, become a Great Ape, but uh, he is uh, he's not a horrible unit. You can do it just because you can. So go ahead and grab him if you want to. Uh, go on, drop some Stage 3. Piccolo medals are Stage 4. Goku medals are Stage 5. Uh, Chiaotzu medals are Stage 7, along with the actual Nappa card. He is free to play. Krillin Stage 8. The Vegeta card is Stage 9. And the Moon Nappa um, medals are on Stage 10. So you're going to want to go ahead and grab them from there. Uh, outside of that, then the Nappa is going to Doken Awaken from the Goku, the Piccolo, the Krillin, and the Chiaotzu medals. Uh, that's pretty much it for this event. Again, honestly, you don't really need to do anything. The Vegeta is probably the only card here worth Doken Awakening, so getting the Moon Nappa for him is pretty good because he's a good Great Ape if you're trying to do a Transform category. If not, the only other thing worth it from this event is Princess Snake. Uh, next event is going to be Super Battle Road. Not Super Battle Road. Um, the Virtual Dokkan Great Warfare version 2.0. That is the Battlefield. Uh, that's, a, that's live. You get LR Core, you get LR Ginyu, or the... Goku slash Vegeta. It looks like you get the medals to Doken Awaken your Ginyu to LR. So there's a whole bunch of different stuff that's available. That's running until 831. You have the rest of August to run that event if you want to. Um, you have the 17, the Android 17 Dokkan event that's here. If you want to go ahead and get those medals in order to get him Doken Awaken, that is for the physical 17 to Doken Awaken. He's the Android leader. You also need that med those medals for the strength Android 21 in order to get her Doken Awaken. And you also need the medals for Android 16. Very good units all over. I did a full review. If you guys haven't checked that out, go ahead and look at my video history. I did do an Android team building guide, and I talked about Android 16 and a whole bunch of stuff. So very, very good units. So keep that in mind, and uh, they are awesome. Definitely grind this out, even if you don't have the units. That way you have the medals available when you do, if you ever do pull them. It runs until 816. Um, Android 21 free-to-play event is available. I have not talked about this in a video yet that will probably be coming out either today or tomorrow. Um, that runs until 816 as well. Uh, so pretty much in this event, you have Bulma items were very good on level one. Uh, looks like level four is going to be the free to play Android 21. Now, if you haven't checked out the videos, make sure you grind out two of her to Super Attack 10 because her and her Dokkan variant can both be run on the same team and they're Android Saga category buffers. Very, very good to have on the team. Um, I would recommend if you're going you to get the uh, four dupe heads unlocked on the Dokkan Awaken one, it can be more beneficial to you. Go ahead and check out that video if you haven't done so already. Um, if it's not available, it'll be available by tomorrow at least. Uh, level 6 is going to be the Android 21 medals. Level 7 is the other Bulma medals. Uh, the, the, the Bulma support items. These two Bulma support items are actually very good. Uh, and then you have King Kai Planet on stage 9, which isn't really that viable. Um, it's pretty much it, so just make sure you go run that event. At least get the Dragon Stones, uh, and at least get one of her to Super Attack 10 and Doken Awaken her. Definitely worth it, at least one of her. Um, she's also the, uh, I think it was, she, this is the Intelligence... She is the Strength One's best linking buddy and a support unit for her. So she is essentially the free-to-play version of the Super Saiyan 3 Golden Great Ape Goku as he is to the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Just keep that in mind. Uh, the next one is going to be the Jiren and uh, Ultra Instant Goku event. 
Um, that's going to be available to 816 as well. Uh, this is the actual event, the story event, not the Adokan event. Uh, you have the uh, the Fat Girls um, uh, medals over here. What the hell is her name again? I forgot her name. Rebrand. Rebrand is uh, medals are on stage one. Android 18, uh, the card drops from stage one. Uh, Android 18 medals are stage three. Uh, Android 17 is available on stage six. And Android 17 medals are, oh, sorry, not, not medals. The Android 17 card is on stage six. And Android 17 medals are on stage nine. Go ahead and get them. I did a full review on these guys as well. Uh, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. But these guys are definitely worth the Dokken. Well, especially the 17. Definitely worth the Dokken Awakenings. Rebrand, meh. I mean, it's cool for a Peppy Gals team because now she's a TUR. So she will give the buffs key. And um, overall, she will be doing a little bit more damage. I don't know if this is ever going to come into play. If you're ever going to need it other than the Master Roshi event. But uh, keep that in mind. At least get these. Uh, at least get the free to play stuff. Doken Awakened and uh, get ready with the medals to Doken Awaken the two non free to play summonable SSRs. Uh, that one again runs until eight sixteen. Uh, Go Yo Son Goku and his friend returns also run until eight sixteen. Um, I've talked about this multiple times. Love. It's pretty much like the GT events. Uh, you have the carrots or the radishes. They're available on stage one. The long ones give you certain items. The short ones give you different items. Tarbles available on stage two, which is a pretty decent um, support unit, or not a support unit, de pretty decent free to play unit. He also Doken Awakens. Base form Gotenks is also on stage four. You can increase the super attack of the agility and the strength one before you Doken Awaken him. That's very worth doing that. Definitely highly recommend doing that. Um, outside of that, really nothing else from this event. Um, I guess you have, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a horrible uh, support item. Um, Tarble isn't that bad for a free-to-play unit, by the way, so you can go ahead and grab him. Other than that, that ends on uh, six, uh, 816, so do what you will. Uh, honestly, the only thing really worth it in this one, in my opinion, is the base form Go tanks that feeds into the other ones. Um, <clears throat> this one is the Goku Jr. event. There are so many events available on the JP side right now, it's insane. Uh, this one is going to be the Goku Jr. event. Uh, this one runs also until 816. Goku Jr. is available on stage one. Uh, the Doken Awaken medals for him is on stage 4, and the orbs that he is a free-to-play 100% unit uh, is available on stage 5. Most people will at least get all four dupes unlock, get him to 100% of Doken Awaken him. You can also, for a free-to-play unit, you can get his base form all four dupes unlock to Super Attack 10 and get him 100% because they can both be run on the same team. Not really worth it in my opinion, but if you're lacking good units and you're a brand new player, it might be worth it to you to help out because the, the two 100% free to play units are better than one summonable kind of halfway crappy unit that you can have replaced with a better unit. Just keep that in mind. Um, outside of that, um, really nothing else from this event. It's pretty self-explanatory. Runs for another six, well, until uh, 816. Uh, the LR Cell banner, we're moving over to the banners right now. The LR Cell banner is here. I already discussed the LR Cell. If you haven't checked out that video, go ahead and check it out. Um, the Android category banner is here. Three discount summons runs until 816. The, the actual, oh, sorry, the uh, cell banner, the LR cell banner runs until 829. Um, the Android category banner runs until 816. It has all of the decent Android categories or Android category units that are there, so you can summon on that. You don't need to, but if you want to run the team, it might be worth it for you. Uh, I, I did talk about it in the team building guide, so if you're looking for the units that you should be running on a team, go check out that guide. Uh, it will give you an idea of whether you should summon or not. Um, <clears throat> last but not least, the Android 17 and Android 21, um, with Super 17, mind you, are on this banner, and all four of these guys you can run on the team. These four primary units that uh, are available to summon for, you pretty much want all four of them at least on your team, so you, that's four out of your six units that you're going to want to run on the team, um, for the most optimal team, or the, like, the best, uh, S-tier units that you would want to run, in my opinion. Uh, but again, that's just my opinion. I would definitely recommend summoning on this if you have really good, like, if you have your cell, uh, your tech cell, 100% easy awakened, um, extreme Z awakened, uh, then it would be definitely be worth summoning for this. Uh, if not, if you're lacking some of the units on here, then maybe not so much. But if you get one of these leaders, that is definitely a very powerful category, a very, very powerful category. But anyway, guys, that is it for the weekly grind video. Apologize for not getting out on the weekend Wednesday. I try to keep it weekly grind Wednesdays, but you know what? Maybe we'll just start calling it weekly grind weekends. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys, thank you again for joining me today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace out.